Clipper guy here. It is flat top time. Flat top is that ultimate demonstration of clipper control. The intersection of a horizontal top with a vertical side wall. Four basic steps in a flat top. Let's take you through them now. Step number one in flat top cutting is to cut in the perimeter. In a tapered haircut, we rock out. We rock out to leave blending hair. In a contour cut, like a crew cut, we follow the curve of the head. In a flat top, when we get to the widest point of the head, we head straight up. It's going to look like this. Straight up off the head. Straight up off the head. When you get to the widest point of the head, you'll begin to build. You'll begin to build that vertical sidewall that is so characteristic of our flat top shape. Step number one, cut in the perimeter all the way around the head. This is how we're going to look at the end of step number one. We cut in the perimeter all the way around the head. When we got to the widest point of the head, we drove straight up and off the head form. We've got a little bit of interior overhang from the top of the head. Don't worry about it. We're going to take that off in step number two. In step number one, we cut in the perimeter. Step number two is now up from below. We hold our clipper comb straight up and down with the top of the tips of the teeth tipped slightly towards us. And we're going to come in and start verticaling that sidewall. Don't worry about getting it completely perfect, but that vertical sidewall and horizontal top intersecting is what makes this flat top a flat top. So we're going to hold that comb up, looking for the short guide in the bottom of the teeth, and squaring in the sides. And we're going to do this all the way around the head, getting that sidewall very, very vertical right before we flatten the top. That is step two. Step number one was cut in the perimeter. Step number two was square in the sides. Step number three is flatten the top. Before we can go there, we're going to dampen the hair slightly. Don't get it too wet, just get it damp. And we're going to apply a small quantity of firm hold styling gel. We're going to dampen the hair, apply a small quantity of firm hold styling gel. Then we're going to blow dry the hair straight up. We've got to get it ready to cut. We've got to prep the top. Blow dry the hair straight up. Not straight back, but straight up with our blow dryer to set up the top for step three cutting. Step number one was cut in the perimeter. Step number two was up from below. Step number three is across the top. After we've prepped the hair, we're going to go underhand clipper position because we're cutting over the crest line and we're going to level out the top. It's going to look like this. Comb flat with the floor. And I'm going to turn this way so cameraman can see this. The comb held flat with the floor. Comb it up and level it off. Get your guide. Once you've established your guide, we're going to work our way through the head, leveling off the top. Always picking up a piece of the previously cut section in our comb to serve as our guide and flattening out the top. We're going to work all the way around, continuing to pick up sections and continuing to flatten out the top over the top of the head in underhand clipper position. We're going to level it out all the way around. Pump up the chair so the client is high enough up that you can get a good look at it. And work your way around the head, leveling off and flattening out the top in step number three. Step number one was to cut in the perimeter. Step number two was up from below. Step number three was across the top, and step number four is down from above. We're going to redirect the interior hair down from above, past the curve of the head, looking for that ridge line of hair. And when we strike off that ridge line of hair through over direction, the corner pops in sharp and square. We're going to follow that step four, redirecting the interior down from above, all the way around the head to polish off and finish up our nice square flat top shape. Step number one, cut in the perimeter. Step number two, up from below. Step number three, across the top. And step number four, down from above. Any lining and edging that would be necessary would be used to finish up the haircut. And we can call this flat top flat. Here we go, the big finish and the recap. Step number one, cut in the perimeter. Step number two was up from below. Top of the tips of the teeth tipped out towards you to square in the sides. Step number three was across the top. We gelled it and blew it dry. No hairspray. Hairspray makes hair stick together. Use gel. We blew it straight up. We cut it across the top to square it up. Step number four, the real thing that pops in the shape, we redirected the interior down from above till the top of the comb was 
parallel, vertical, and ready to go. And then we squared off those sides. That gave us our nice square flat top shape. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.